Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, first, tell you that uh, my English is bad, so I'm sorry. Um, in this intervention, I will briefly introduce Arab and Andalusian music. And then I will present a new proposal of a theory governing the melodies and the rhythm of this music. But uh, first, let's uh, hear some fragments to have a brief understanding of this music. Uh, Arab Andalusian music, as its name suggests, is the musical steel and the corpus of songs created by the people of Al Andalus throughout its history. Uh, history that officially begins uh, on the year 711 and lasted until 1492. When the Andalusian era started, the Iberian Peninsula was not deserted nor the void of history, civilization, and the music. Many dynasties uh, had shaped centuries and millennium of the 
Iberian Peninsula history. And all these cultures developed their music. It is in this atmosphere where a new civilization called Al-Andalus was developed. As indicated by the historian Atsifeshi, the music of the people of Al-Andalus in the beginning was either in the style of the Christians or the Bedouin Arabs. The two cultures, the Roman Hispanic and the Arab Muslim survived together. Despite the, the, the fame of Zilyab, uh, the title of a real inventor of the Arab Andalusian music corresponds to the 12th century philosopher from Saragos, Abu Bakr ibn Yahya Sa'ir, known as Ibn Baja. After he meets for years with singer slaves, Ibn Pas ref refined Al Istihlal and Amal, mixed the singing of Christians with the singing of the East, and created a style that only existed in Al Andalus. A style that drew his, his people, the Andalusian uh, people, who rejected everything else. Uh, in this example, we can see the relation between the old liturgic music, Christian music, and the Andalusian music. This is a, a more Mozarabic chant from Spain. Andalusian music. So the Andalusians continued singing in the style of Avampas uh, until the fall of Al-Andalus in uh, 1492. After the expulsion of Moors and Jews from the peninsula, the Arab Andalusian music has been kept alive as an oral tradition in Maghreb, in the Maghreb countries, Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Um, now we will speak about the theory. The Arab Andalusian music theory is one of the most controversial issues, and as, as of today, one of the poorest branches in the field of Andalusian musical science. Although many researchers have made great studies reach, uh, reaching important results, they did not take a realistic vision of the sociocultural reality of the Andalusian people, the creators of this music, Arab Iberian, land with two major influence, the Iberian, Latin, and Christians, and the Arab Muslim. This view would make the theoretical influ uh, influence of the, uh, the, two, the two Greek schools automatically included in the Arab Andalusian music theory. Most of the Arab and the European researchers have considered the Andalusian culture as an exclusively Arab Islamic culture. 
So they have only been interested by the classic oriental treaties, Al-Kindi, Al-Farabi, Ibn al-Munajim, without considering the possibility of a native Iberian inf influence. Uh, the real identity of the Andalusian music can be perceived in, in, the, uh, in the audio. When we hear uh, Andalusian music, we can perceive uh, the two major influences. The most important musical components of the Arab Andalusian music are the Greek music theory, the Mozarabic, is, uh, uh, it means the, the Christian Andalusian, Gregorian music and the, its theories, and the Arabic music from the, uh, the East. The, the rhythm of the Al Andalus. There are five rhythms in the, in the Andalusian music. And um, each one of these five rhythms of our mizan has three versions, dependent on its cadence. Muessa, a slow cadence, Mahzuz intermediate step, since it acts as a bridge between the slow and the fast parts of the song, and Musarraf, the quick cadence. For example, uh, basit, the cadence of basit, the, the large cadence, the, the slow. And just repeat. The quick cadence. It's the same, and it works like this. Repeat. and be quick and very slow
sprawdzić. And the last is Qudam. Ah, sorry. These three rhythmic types ap appear in the same song, starting with the slow cadence, moving to the intermediate, and finishing with the faster. Now we will speak about uh, the mode, the mode of Arab Andalusian music, called taba. It's uh, the uh, in the equivalence we can say it's equivalent to maqam in Orient, but it's not the same. The taba is defined first. Uh, there are uh, 26 taba in the Arab, in the Arab Andalusian music, and it's defined first uh, by its skull. And the genus, genus uh, they are um, the skull is div divided into a succession of genre, of, of polychords. Where the, where the main genre is the one that has a fund, fundamental mode degree uh, as the first uh, degree. And the degrees which has a key role in the development of the melody. The fundamental, the first degree, the natural end of the melodic phrase, the dominant, and other notes that are in stations important in the song. For example, uh, C and E in, in this song. La, 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 E. La, 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 la. La 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 C. La 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 la. Another E. La 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 la. La 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 la. Return to to C. The fundamental degree. And this this is the one of the 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 new things in the theory is the syntonization. Some some says. And the melodic phrases uh, that are uh, uh, that are important in the development of the melody. Each mode is characterized, characterized by a number of cells or melodic phrases that are combination of uh, uh, little cells. For example, in a mode called Maya, we can find a phrase which is la 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 la. And in the majority of the melodies of Maya, we will find it. La 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 la. Or, for example, la 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 la. This says a big number of says for for each mode will give a temperament, will give an ethos, will give us. Uh, an emotion for this uh, this uh, this mode and its uh, melodies, like for example, this 
for example, this mode Alistihlel, which has fundamental degree Do. It's like, a, perhaps like a Do major. Do, Mi, Sol, degree is important. And there are the cells, the sentence. We will find this in the majority of the melodies of Alistihlal. That's an example. And for example, I'm uh, uh, very uh, medieval uh, mode. We find it uh, uh, so much in the liturgical music uh, of the Christians in, in the medieval Europe and uh, also in the uh, Cantigas de Amigo in, the, in Galicia or the Cantigas de Alfonso X el Sabio, and, uh, um, and another music of the medieval age. Uh, that are it. Cells and sentences. The most important, we will find this uh, also in the medieval music, uh, is uh, the, the chorus. For example, we can hear this. No, no, no. It means that to, to, to create a new melody, uh, you must know all the cells of the, the mode you will use to create your melody. Uh, it's not a composition uh, uh, like we understand, understand it now. That is why uh, Herminio Gonzalez Barrio Nuevo, it's a researcher in the Gregorian music, said an artist in the old days did not intend to create something original, but rather used it to work with a few models or laws. That are the models. And I think that uh, the researcher in the medieval music occidental must know the laws of Andal Andalusian music. It, it will help them so much in your in their uh, researches so uh, uh, subjects is big big but we have not uh, time so uh, thank you very much <laughs> No, um, um, in fact, the, we have a big uh, 
corpus of Andalusian music which came from Al Andalus. So, and it is uh, uh, classified in modes. So we can take all the melodies of one mode and study it. And there we can find found the cell's importance of the mode because we have a corpus, an old corpus of Andalusian music. That was the question? Yes. <laughs> Sí, es, es una novedad que he descubierto que en el mundo árabo-andalusí árabe nadie ha hablado de células. Lo que se ha hecho hasta ahora es hablar simplemente de escalas. Y, y el problema es que hay muchos modos perdón, que tienen misma escala, pero no son los mismos modos. Difieren precisamente en las células y en las notas principales. Mahmoud Guttat uh, um, believe that uh, the actually Andalusian music has not a big relation with Al-Andalus. He says that this, this music is a uh, new, a new music. So uh, he, uh, he, he searched, Mahmoud Guttat uh, always searched the relation between uh, Andalusian music and the Maghreb music, the pure Maghreb music. Uh, and uh, he has not a big contribution in the theory of Andalusian music. He always uh, copy what, uh, what was done in the 60 years. So he, he in really no one speaks about cells in the Andalusian world. The, the only who speaks about cells are the medieval uh, researchers about the, the Gregorian liturgy, for example. Uh, 26. Mm -hmm. and, but another, 26 in Morocco. Another goes to Algeria and it sends uh, uh, 12 in Algeria and uh, 13 in, uh, in Tunis, in Tunisia. But there is a relation between Moroccan and Algerian and Tunisian mode. There is mode which, which is the same. Um, and I think there is a relation between Andalusian music and music of the north of Portugal. Because I think Fado no. Fado is relatively new. But north of Portugal, I think they have a, uh, an air of, uh, of medieval music. Uh, it's strange because in this, uh, in this country, um, the music is very, very, I, 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 I call it very occidental, very, uh, very European, very Celtic. The, this, this is the, the component of uh, uh, occidental music, which is European, like uh, Celtic music, but not uh, liturgical uh, Byzantine music. It's another component. I think that in Portugal and in Galicia and uh, all, all these parts, the music is more uh, old European music than in other country of uh, Spain.
Mm -hmm. um, I think it is not a contribution of, or, or, of uh, barbarian people in the Andalusian music, because uh, in the history of Al-Andalus, the Berber uh, uh, has, uh, ha had not the, the big contribution in the culture. They was uh, confined in the, in the, uh, in el campo, las montañas. Uh, yes, and the, the most important culture was Christian, Latino, Christian, Roman, and the uh, Arab, uh, Arabo-Islamic culture. But uh, we, we, we doesn't find a, a relation between a rhythmic, uh, Berberian rhythm and, and Andalusian rhythm. There are, there are rhythms which is uh, common in all the world. For example, the, the Kuddam, we will find this uh, here, for example. But it's not Berberian rhythm. Mm -hmm. No, lo que lo que está escrito son los poemas y, al, y algo de, de, de historia, pero muy pobre algo de relación de la música con las estrellas, lo que es la, la cosmología, la, la, un poco de armonía de las esferas, pero muy poco, muy poco. Lo que está escrito es, es el corpus de poemas, clasificados por modos. Yes, uh, the problem is that, is that the, the rhythm of uh, the medieval music is not known al cien por cien. It's not uh, sure, you know. Uh, so um, it's it's important uh, to to say that the researcher of uh, medieval music uh, um, try tried to 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 give the medieval music and. Uh, the coincidence is the, the relation or the similitude with the Andalusian music, but in the, in the plane of the, the melody, the, the, the rhythm of, uh, of uh, medieval music it, it isn't known. Um, I think that if the medieval, uh, the researchers now of medieval music uh, uh, try to understand the Andalusian music, they, they will have a, um, a better idea about the rhythm of medieval music. For example, Eugenio Angles, which did a, a bigger uh, work uh, to decodify, decodify the cantigas, but it has, he has the, that, uh, that, uh, that problem of, uh, of uh, interpretation of the, the, the rhythm of the cantigas. Sorry, my English is very bad. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.